Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for um, January 27th through February 2nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's take a look. Taurus, the overall energy for the reading is the Ten of Swords. Uh, you feel defeated in a situation. You feel like, kind of like I lost a battle here. You know, I feel like if you've been trying to uh, get things in a good place, get things right in a situation for quite some time, and it's not really working out. You know, it's creating a lot of conflict over and over again, and thus, you feel defeated. Uh, in your recent past, you get the Judgment card, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So what you've been doing and what I see you doing throughout this reading is um, <clears throat> rejecting love. And you're not even realizing it, you know? Um, I feel like you've tried to overcome some sort of a self-sabotage kind of energy, you know, deceptive energy when it came to emotional fulfillment. What brings you happiness? What brings you emotional fulfillment here? I feel like there was a, you know, change, transformation that came that uh, kind of pushed you into fixing that. I don't know what you did with it based on the overall energy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Maybe you did work on it. Um, in your current situation, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. So all of this running around, chasing something, you know, trying to do this and that and that and that. I feel like it's for other people, first of all. It's not for you. I feel like it's to keep other people happy, to keep them, you know, um, not looking into your direction necessarily, but like shutting them up, you know, doing this for that and the other and whatever, just to please them and whatever the case. And I feel like I've told you this before, where you are trying to keep everything uh, perfect for everybody else. And it's creating a lot of conflict for you, because what about you? in the end, you know. In your immediate future, you get the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Again, the love part has shown up, and you're very defensive. Love has shown up in your life, and you're you're scared of it. You're like, I'm not gonna, you know, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, because it looks nice, but I'm, you know, I'm beaten up. I'm, I'm gonna reject it a little bit. I'm gonna put my boundaries up against love. Why? You know? Uh, let's clarify. <clears throat> Let me clarify the Ten of Swords. There's a situation, there's a person here, might be a uh, Leo that you're dealing with and possibly younger than you here. Uh, you feel that this person, you know, was your happiness at some point. But currently, I feel like you're uh, thinking that things are done here. It looks like this was it for you. Not in the way you're feeling, though, currently. Um, let me clarify the judgment card in your recent past. <clears throat> Get the Seven of Pentacles, the Judgment card again, and the Ace of Wands. So there was a situation in which you've 
put in the effort. You've put in the, the work here. Uh, you thought it was the right thing to do. You thought it was, you know, it could it could have been a, a relationship. It could have been work. But there's a lot of your energy that's been given to the situation. And I feel like you... <clears throat> You gave it a chance over and over and over and over again. Now, I don't know what this is. It felt good to you at the time, but whatever the situation was, it was very transformative for you. You know, it changed your life or it affected your life in one way or another. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Something that you cared about a whole lot or someone and this situation brought you a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, but it was because I feel like you sabotaged the whole thing. You know, again, we're going back to that whole, because I do see you putting in a lot of work. It could be into your work specifically and that actually sabotaged this connection. Because you didn't give it the proper amount of energy, of time, of love, of nurturing that you gave to the other situation. You know, it could have been that. Or, there's this thing that you might have told yourself that, no, this connection is not what it's looking like. It's crap. It's nothing. It's Then why did it hurt you so bad if it was nothing? You know, but you kept on telling yourself that. And that's deceptive. That's self-deception there. You know? Uh, let me clarify the Nine of Cups in your recent past. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away from this person. And you did it in, a, in such a way that... Uh, you kind of left the impression here that you don't give a crap about this. That you're cold, you're detached, you don't... And underneath it all, there's that Nine of Cups sitting there. Which tells me they were your everything. And you just left. You just left. Alright, let me do the Two of Pentacles. In your current situation. You get the Ace of Cups, the uh, Four of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So you're holding on to this something, something that looks stable, right? <clears throat> you're either in a commitment, you're, you're, you have something going on for you that's stable. And you're hanging on to that. You're not letting that go. Um, and you're juggling because there is such thing as true love out there for you, and you know it, and you see it. You're kind of going back and forth because what you're holding on to, I don't think it's real. Uh, it's not, no, no, you know, yeah, it looks nice, it, mm. but I feel like the, the, it offer you, it, it offers you some sort of a false sense of security here, whatever you're holding on to. And you're holding on to that and you're not really, really choosing love here. Let me clarify the devil. See, in your struggle to balance things out, I feel like you're um, you're spending a little too much time in your head about things when it comes to I need to fix this, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need why do you need that? Is it truly what you feel? Because I feel like all of the freaking time that you're trying to fix things and balance things out, all you get is conflict at the end. And this is attached here to the devil. So it's looking to me like it's it's something that uh, has happened to you a lot during your whole life, pretty much. You trying to fix things only causes more conflict. And it causes more conflict in a situation here that you're dealing with over and over again. Ooh, Taurus, let's clarify the Five of Wands. So, you know what? Just stop trying to fix things. If it doesn't, why do you do it in the first place? Take it from there, from that question. And then go with it from there. 
right? Because there you are again as the Queen of Pentacles for the Five of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So again, with this connection, with this, there's something stable, right? That you're hanging on to in your life. You're not letting it go. Even though it creates the, the worst conflict for you. You're like, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm going to be a Taurus. I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to hang on to this. Why? There's a lot of conflict around it. There's a lot of tox toxicity with the devil being here. You're just waiting for um, things to happen on their own in this connection. Maybe the other person is going to fix things. Maybe you will eventually. Maybe this com or it, it, it has just become habit for you. You know, th this, this conflict, this drama, this whatever it is that you're living in. You know? <clears throat> it's life for you. It's looking like. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. You get the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. That's a whole lot of kings. You know, and a lot of ego involved here. And I feel like... You're um you're not opening up here. You're not again, you're resisting something or someone. You're resisting this person that um I feel like they're in your life to change all of this crappy energy that you're going through. You know, but you're not mm -mm. nope, not opening up to them. <clears throat> Let me clarify this Nine of Wands. You get the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Death card. So at least when it comes to this confusion, because I feel like you do have options in your life in regards to possibly people, jobs, whatever. Um, and those options actually confuse the hell out of you. Uh, that's going to be gone. You know, that energy of you feeling confused about what do I do, what do I choose, it's going to be gone. You're going to you're gonna get past that. Let's see the Ace of Cups then. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah, you do have somebody here offering you love. Somebody that's willing to take a chance with you. This person may be single, independent, taking care of themselves. But they do have the standing cup here for you. And I feel like this is a person that you already know. Um, it's, to be quite frank, it's the cleanest kind of corner of energy that I'm getting from this reading. It's the most pure. Because it's looking like it's always out there for you. You're just not seeing it because you're all caught up in this crap. Right? So... Um, you're, you're pretty much struggling with this energy and I feel like you're not even seeing it. You know, that you're hanging on to something that's not working out for you. You're not even realizing that. So Taurus, let me pull some cards from the universe for you to close it off. You might be taking a chance here, Taurus, for a brand new beginning with this person that uh, you feel like is very charming, very beautiful, very attractive, very everything. So you might be going for it, pretty much. Um, I'm feeling this, to be quite frank, as a temporary kind of thing, where you will probably take this to patch all of this up for you. It's like a patch. Temporary patch. So... I'm kind of feeling that you're going to go back to your old ways eventually. You know, you're just going to um, take this, put it on your heart, leave it there for a month or two, and then probably slip back into this because this feels so grounded into you at this point that either you open up to it and see it and recognize it for what it is and just change it 
or you know keep on looking for these patches in your life that you're gonna take I don't know it's really up to you so that's what I have for you Taurus I hope this helped and I will see you next time bye